Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel, where we explore gaming tips to help you level up your gameplay. Today, we're diving into something special, mastering PSR instance using Tor and unlocking their full potential. So buckle up, because we're about to show you how to finish a PSR instance quickly. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button for more gaming content like this. Alright, let's get started. The key to finishing the PSR instance quickly lies in utilizing Tor's ability to their fullest. The first tip we have for you is to convert the PSR dragon into water using auto attack AM. So here are my equips for my auto attack AM. You just need a tank build for durability and the tidal set to convert the dragon into water. Here are my Taurus equipment. For offhand, I use the Dragon Slayer with 18% physical damage increase random attribute. For enchant, you should aim for the armor breaking enchantment to increase penetration percentage. For card, I use Tor the Cad of Thunder card. Next for armor, I'm using Other Shore with 20% additional wind attack. For enchant, you should aim for the morale enchantment to increase ignore death percentage. For card, I use Poitata Star. For garment, I use Brave Warrior with 12% skill damage increase. For enchant, you should aim for physical damage increase. For card, I use the Nubia card. For boots, I use Loon's Memorial with physical penetration random attribute. For enchant, you should aim for physical damage increase. For card, I use Moonlight Flower Star card for movement speed. Next, for accessories, I use 2 Steel Ambition with physical damage random attribute. For enchant, you should aim for the Sharp Blade for additional melee attack damage. For card, I use Galleon Star for additional wind attack 5% and 20% damage to water monster. The reason for increased damage to water monster is due to the auto attack AM which can convert monsters into the water element. For weapon, I use Last Twilight with Morale Engine. And the card I use are the Drake Star to bypass the penalty of the weapon and Minor Star card. And for the headgear, I use Homestead of Snowy Owl for additional wind damage 10%. And for the face, I use Cute Blower for damage to monster plus 10%. And for the mouth, I use Ocean's Attachment. And for the back, I use Goodwill Gift Bags. And for the tail, I use Eats Too Late. For skills, always use Storm Barrier to survive the damage from the dragon because Thor is quite fragile. Don't forget to buff with lightning power, in addition to increasing wind damage by up to 5 stacks. Cast Holy Resonance to reduce the cooldown of your skills by 2 seconds. So you can spam the storm barrier. So this is the entire run in the PSR instance. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. As you can see, 
I buff my lightning power at the beginning to increase my wind damage. I always cast the storm barrier right after its cooldown to have a shield and avoid dying quickly. You can see how quickly the skills cool down when you use Holy Resonance. I use Lightning Cling to gather and compress the monsters. And there you have it, with Torb by your side and these tips and tricks in your arsenal, you'll be finishing PSR instance in no time. Remember to practice, adapt, and mostly importantly, have fun. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy gaming.